we're enjoying a conversation. I don't even know if Ven and and uh, Vix are actually gonna get into it right now. I feel like they are, so please bear with us. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, we'll find out very soon, but yeah, this, this should be interesting. Uh, it looks like we're going to get right into it. So yeah, we're going to be having the old Robin and Zelda matchup here. This is going to be a battle of projectiles and just setting up. And <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be a wild one for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's it's actually, I'm really happy to see Vixel come out today because last week we had a chance to actually watch not old, not just the uh, Vixel, but uh, an Armonia last week. So that's really good to see more Robins come out to play. But Ven is no slouch, puts in the neutral special, and then that is it for Vince's first time. Yeah, man, that was actually a, a very strong showing, but I mean, that's just Ven, though. Ven is, quite frankly, one of the best Zeldas on the planet. There's just, there's really no denying that you can't really argue with him. He's going to be able to put down a lot of pressure on you. It's just a matter of you trying to be one step ahead, but I mean, good luck. This dude just knows how to put in the work, how to get these stocks. So you got you to work extra hard here. Nice. That's a really good elf thunder just to put, continuously put Vixel off the stage and then for, I'm sorry, Ven off the stage and then force Ven to kind of make an approach in which Vixel would like. That's great on that situation because that holds the shield and almost was an opportunity for Vixel to find a grab. Okay, see, they tried to go for a little bit of a setup there. Fortunately, Ven already had that way scouted with the knight going right on the stage and the lightning kick not quite going to be able to close out that stock. And let's see what the option is here. Let's see a forward throw prop. Oh, back throw. Okay, still getting him off stage regardless. He's still kind of controlling that space right there. And we we'll have to see how Ven's going to be able to find a way back on. And yeah, just a simple neutral get up and a roll. That'll do it. Yeah, it's usually one of the situations where you see an, an opponent like Robin use something like our fire spam in that situation just to force a roll and then get a down smash off that. Nonetheless, though, excellent opportunity to catch the jump out of the ledge and then get the forward air to get the stock as well. Vixel is looking to slowly climb back with the grab here and Ben sets up Knight to read the landing. Unfortunate neutral air, but Vixel with the grab and the return in favor. You know, that was actually a very nice setup there. He's just, uh, unfortunately, just wasn't enough to really get it going. But now we're going to have another chance here to possibly get a stock. And the forward smash isn't going to be able to do it. And, oh, going for the forward, but not going to land. And, oh, they went for the forward air thing. It was either the forward air or the nair. Either way, this, it swung the wrong way. Not going to be able to get Ven back off stage. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate yeah. indeed. Oh, miss right. grabbing that. That's right. also right. unfortunate. Right. Yes, right. <laughs> hey, Strat, welcome <laughs> to the What's up, <laughs> Okay, forward smash. Right now, it's kind of been a bit of a back and forth, but Vem's definitely been in the driver's seat for pretty much this, the whole game so far. I imagine he's pretty experienced in this matchup. Sure. I feel like it's a very weird matchup. Like, I feel like it, both players would thrive here. It's, it's almost like who's more willing to... Right there, the four kills gonna be close that out, but it's, it's almost like who's more willing to kind of take that approach, which I feel like neither of these characters do a whole lot, but it's like who has the better like approaching game, and like that player is pretty much just gonna come on top, come out on, mm -hmm. on top, uh, especially when you got all these projectiles flying all over the place. Yeah, it's more like okay, who can bait the other person, like you said, to actually go in and overextend. Mm -hmm. Now I feel like it's gonna be Zelda. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> he actually has a reflector. <laughs> That, that does play a very big part. <laughs> it's actually kind of wild. All right. So let's see. We got Ben taking game one there. We're going to see how things could possibly turn around for Vixel. Vixel's no slouch. I'm not sure what, I, what, what, what I'd want to see Vixel do more of. I mean... The problem is you're already playing Robin. Robin's one of the slower characters in the game, so it's not like they have a whole lot of mobility to be able to get in on Zelda. And then you gotta you gotta really time your projectiles right because otherwise Zelda's just gonna use Nehru's love and send it right back to you. Yep. And then the knight as well can block a lot of things too. It's uh it's it's difficult because normally Zelda struggles against fast characters that can like easily avoid all of her setups, but you have another setup character in Robin. So, I don't know, it, it takes a lot of mix-ups, I feel. Three, two, we'll see. We'll see what happens this game. Go! Yep. We're going to be hopping on PS2 here. Just going to start off with a raw <laughs> lightning kick. Okay, that's the type of game this is. Ven is already on one, like two yeah. seconds in. <laughs> yeah, there's no way you see that coming, honestly. So, <laughs> guys, as well just go for it. There's, like, no way they're going to expect you to go for that. 
There's no way Ben's gonna be able to pull. Okay, there we go. We're finally gonna get some damage on that. I thought we were gonna see a zero to death because Ben was just smothering Vixel from the very beginning. Starting off with a lightning kick and just piling on damage after that. That's gotta be like a bit demoralizing. Yeah, for sure. It like kind of takes you back a little bit. Like, okay, I really gotta like focus up, get back in the driver's seat. You know. Okay, back okay. throw here. Yep. Yeah, Vixel actually doing a great job. I mean, it started off hot, but Vixel's made a very good comeback so far. Only 5% uh, separating the two at the moment. We have to see how Vixel can find some sort of setup here to try and take a lead. Has gotten a couple of them last game. Uh, a couple of setups into a forward smasher too. Whoa, actually the forward air going to be Ooh. enough. Yeah, extended hitbox off of the night, but man, he just immediately comes back with the night of his own. It's crazy. Y'all watch how you jump and get Zelda, because if you're predictable, their landing will get caught by the knight as well. Oh. Yep, yeah, that Nehru's has some frames of uh, intangibility at the startup, so we can use it to avoid a lot of uh, hitboxes as well. It's so annoying. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's more so when you're finding a good Zelda, you have to really be good at baiting out that move. Right, right. And I mean, Ven is among the best so far, and wow, actually great forward tilt. Just gonna land right down and just get that going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, forward tilt was buffed in one of the earlier patches as well, so it's uh, it's just another really good poke that can also kill, so she doesn't have to rely on like her F smash. Mm -hmm. well, that's right, yeah, they, they buffed her forward tilt and her nair, right? Mm -hmm. wow, wow. Oh, <laughs> okay, so that was a good arc fire, but uh, there. When you, when you get hit at that angle, if you have the, the Thoron charge, that's like a free Thoron. Hopefully he can get some time to actually charge. I, I feel like that's another thing that he's struggling with because of uh, Zelda's projectile of his own. It's not He doesn't get enough time himself to actually start charging his, uh, you know, electric move. Mm -hmm. Pretty rough. Okay, nice. Great, great yeah. right to the Nosferatu. Not going to yeah, get, get too much damage after back. that. Ah. I mean, still, yeah, you, you still got some health back, so it's not, it wasn't uh, too bad. Um, still, that was actually a great little conversion. Ooh, nice, Perry. Okay. <laughs> nice. And that's not easy to parry at all, actually. No, that's, 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 uh, that's something else. But yeah, nothing like parrying like a very strong move from your opponent and then just taking a stock immediately after. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, again, Vin comes back with the immediate revenge stock. Kind of hard for Vixel to build a substantial lead. I mean, right now it's a pretty pretty competitive game so far. Uh, ben has been mostly, uh, you know, in the lead here, but now Vixel uh, trying to have uh, trying to stage a, a very good lead of their own at the moment. Start off a little bit of a struggle, about ninety percent unanswered at the beginning, and now here we hey. go. Not gonna be able to go. Oh, there it is. There's the Aries again, man. That any other character that was a easy up smash, but oh, for sure. Yeah, Ben's just really aware of when he can use that move. Nice, though. He sinks in the forward air. Okay. okay. He's going for the ledge drop here. Nice. Keep him stuck in shield a little bit. But he doesn't have his Levin Sword anymore. So he's going to have to hold on for a little bit before he can get a strong move to kill. Back okay. to get him off stage here. Nice reflect. Okay. The sword's back. And that's all he needs from full screen at that percent. Especially going to die. Nice. Yeah, no, nice catch. Very, very well done from uh, <laughs> from Vixel there. Just, you know, finding a way to take that win. And that's not actually a buff that Robin got as well. Like, I think it's like using the aerials um, actually helps recharge or using the smash attacks help, help recharge your Levin Sword. It, Levin Sword got buffed where you're going to get it more often one way or another. I forget what the actual buff was. But yeah, no, definitely coming in clutch right there because as you mentioned, they were out of the Levin Sword for like a good 10 to 15 seconds and it came back right when they needed it most. Yeah, and that can be really rough too, especially like when you're on the back foot, you suddenly don't have a reliable way to kill your opponent, and then they can start pressuring you really hard while you're mm -hmm. waiting for the Levin Sword to come back. But Vix did a good job of turning that around. It's really good. Yeah, very good stuff. Now we're going to be going into a game three here. Mm. I would imagine that FD will be banned. At least I would hope so. Yeah, I would, I would like to hope so, too. <laughs> I think leaving uh, FD uh, open would be a, kind of a kind of a bad move. But we'll see as we're getting into our game three. 
And looks okay. like we're gonna be going to Smashville. All right. I, I don't hate this. Um, both both characters have a little bit of a way to uh, play around with either on top of the platform or below the platform. You know, giving them that little bit of a ceiling there to to hide from other attacks. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of a smaller stage too, so I'm curious uh, what Vin's gonna do to like you know play a little bit more aggressive, maybe close the gap a little bit more on this stage. Mm -hmm. I think Ben does actually like the stage, if I remember correctly. I think uh, a couple weeks ago he did commentary, and I think I saw Ben go here pretty often. If I don't, uh, you know, if I'm not misremembering. No, you're, you're, actually, you're actually right. Uh, for Ven in this stage in particular, it's really good for Zelda just because it forces opponents to actually have to face Knight and face Zelda and then kind of come more closer to her range. Whereas you would have a bigger stage where you can actually walk away from Knight and have opportunities to whiff punish Zelda for that situation. Mm. This stage is smaller and it just forces those interactions. Like, see how, uh, like, at that situation, Ven oh, was on the right trying to read a roll and still able to find a punish because Vixel's still in disadvantage. That's crazy. Yeah, okay. it's actually yeah, it's, it's a good point. It's actually much harder to run away from the night on this stage. It's because it's much smaller. It just covers so much of the stage in general. <laughs> well, trying to find a dash attack. Like we were gonna, I think the dash attack was also another move that was buffed. Zelda got a pretty good buff back in like the 5.0, 6.0. Oh yeah, <laughs> but yeah, too bad I can't you know buff that air dodge off stage. It's kind of rough. You don't want it. <laughs> drop a stock like that especially when you're winning by you know such a large margin and now all of a sudden you know vixel's right back in it okay it's definitely a lucky break for vixel see if they can find a way to capitalize on this back right throw back there off stage yep Ooh, thought they were gonna land on stage for a second i was a little worried yeah vin usually has really good angles on his up b i like rarely see him mess up Oh, great drop to the platform, getting that up air just to build up a little bit of damage. Not quite going to kill, though. Okay, sneaks in the dash attack, though. Nice air dodge through the night, but he's at the ledge. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know what Dylan was thinking with the down tilt forward air off stage like that. Maybe he expected the trajectory to be a little bit different. Okay. Ooh, wow. wow, what a snipe. Oh, but he has the Nehru's again. Man, that actually would have been so great if the full hitbox connected. Speaking of full hitbox connecting, that up there would have been a great hitbox to connect just because Knight had forced the Vixel to actually go for a jump. And like you can see Zven immediately charging forward smash because every time Knight is out there, Vixel has to kind of like find the situations of like, all right, cool, am I going to jump? Oh, great, Ven kind of read that, so now I can't attack. And I think that's what Ven is looking for. Not necessarily situations to run away, but situations to force Vixel to pick and choose an option that Ven comes out more generous, like that forward air. Look at that situation. Now is Vixel is off the stage. Oh, that down air barely oh, clipped. Oh my crazy, god. Crazy clutch, clutch down there. This is exactly was, what he needed to get back in this game. That was actually such an insane option to go for. That's just like one of the differences between like very seasoned players and like, and, you know, dumb players. Cause like dumb players will go for that, but seasoned players will go for that and also still make it back, no problem. Yeah, that was a really good call out on his jump. But Vixel's still in a pretty good spot right now. Has him pin at the ledge. Yep, nice. Ben's trying to find a way to land, but he's still, again, he's just getting pressure to the ledge over and over here. Oh, the book gonna be able to knock him just right off stage there real quick. Mm -hmm. Gonna get a Nair hit. Still has the book in hand. Gotta be very careful. Nice, he's gonna go high to avoid all the projectiles, but still, he can't really get stage control right now. The Knight's saving him. <laughs> exactly that what he needed. That but, swing of the sword comes up to the center platform, and that's where situations become even more scary. Now you look at how Vixel's feeling double the pressure. Yeah. This is a very close game right now. Barely avoiding the up air as well. Yeah. Okay, he's in shield, but doesn't jump there. And doesn't he, get, he gets the sour spot of his Levin sword, too. It's pretty unfortunate, but the knight going through everything. Crazy. Oh my god, he's going yeah. back and forth here. How much <laughs> pressure the two of these guys are putting down with these projectiles? Oh. oh my god, that was scary. You we saw the fort air kind of clink with the lingering knight there, and somehow Ven just finding a way through the dash attack. Not gonna kill though. Oh, he's up. Watch the arc fire at the ledge. It's a very, very scary position to be in. Oh, Ooh. that was so smart. That was so oh. smart. Wow. Oh, the magic finger, ladies and gentlemen. The magic wow. finger. That's actually so smart. So basically, uh, there he he did a re grab. While the uh, arc fire was active, because you know he knew Vixel would try to punch the re grab there, since pretty pretty obvious you can hit him there. But since 